If you're seeing a name like this on your credit report, it's a collection account. This company will contact you if you have an outstanding debt, or they think you do. They're not scammers. However, that doesn't necessarily mean that you owe the debt or that they won't violate your rights. This collection account is severely damaging your credit score, so you should do everything in your power to remove it. There are four ways to get the collection account off of your credit report. 1. Dispute the debt. Send a dispute letter to the collection agency and the credit bureaus. The collection agency has 30 days to prove that you owe the debt. If they can't, they must delete it from your credit report. 2. Try pay for delete. If you haven't paid the debt yet, ask the debt collection company to remove it from your credit report in exchange for payment. This probably won't work, but it's worth a try. 3. Send a goodwill deletion letter. If you've already paid the debt, explain your situation and ask the debt collectors to remove the account out of the goodness of their hearts. Unfortunately, this is also unlikely to work. 4. Wait 7 years. By law, credit bureaus must remove the collection account from your credit report after this time period, even if you don't pay it off. Note that if you pay off the debt, it'll still remain on your credit report for 7 years. However, a paid off collection looks better to lenders than an unpaid one, so it's worth doing. If you're not making any progress on your own, a credit repair company may be able to help you remove the collection account. They may be especially helpful if you have other inaccurate marks that are bringing down your credit score. Bear in mind that a credit repair company can't do anything that you can't do yourself, but they could save you time and a headache. When debt collectors contact you, remember that you have rights. Debt collectors aren't allowed to harass you with incessant phone calls, reveal your debt to anyone else other than your spouse, or trick you into paying more than you actually owe. You can also tell them to stop calling or contacting you altogether, and they'll be forced to do so. To take the next step on your financial journey, watch these videos.